Some mistakes men make in bed that women don't like at all costs. Due to that, some women find it difficult to get satisfied in bed. So if you are someone that you want to please your woman in bed, please, this video is for you. Make sure you stay tuned and watch this video to the end. Grab some popcorn and sit back. Let's get into the video. Okay guys, welcome back to my channel once again. If this is your first time watching my face or watching my video, please you are the right place. All we do on this channel is to advise each other. I keep saying it. If you have something in your mind and you want others to learn from it, please don't hesitate to leave it in the comment section. Do read. All of us will read there and learn from it so that we can build our lives. Without much ado, please make sure you support your girl. Support me as well. So let's get right into the video. So these mistakes are making you not to satisfy your woman in bed. The first mistake is ignoring the clitoris. Yes, the clitoris is the most sensitive part of women when it comes to love making. But a lot of men don't know this. If you can testify, men love it when a woman is putting their cucumber in their mouth, giving it a suck, playing with the balls there, playing with every part of their body. You love it, right? The same way women also love it when you are playing with their cleats, when you are playing with their down there, when you are doing a lot of things with their down, you are using your hands there. Women love it when you are making use of your tongue over there. Before you give your woman head, make sure she's the only person you are with. That's why this video is for married couple, okay? This one is for married couple. If you are not married to the person, you don't know whether if the person is going out with different people, you don't know. So before you can give your woman a head, you need to know that that place is clean. Or if you are married by cohabitation, you can do it to your woman because you both are living together. It's just that you haven't done the right thing, yes. But you know she's with you always. In as much as you guys like it when women put your kuba in their mouth, giving it a suck, the same way women also love it when you use your tongue over there because the place is very soft. So your tongue is also soft. When you send your tongue dead, it makes a difference than only using your hands. Okay? Especially when the place is not wet and you are using your hands there, you are killing the person. You are rather making the person go through pains. But when the place is very wet or maybe you are using lubricant or maybe you are using oil over there, using your fingers to stimulate the place very well, it makes a lot of women get wet faster. So please stop ignoring the clitoris. Stop it. The clit is the most sensitive part of women. They like it a lot. The next mistake men make is not stimulating their partner's body. You need to stimulate her body. In as much as you men, you are visualized. Yes. When you see someone's thigh right now, or if you see a woman's breast, or if you see a part of your woman, you are already erect. It is not like that for women. You need to stimulate her body. You need to play with her body. Touch so many places for her. And also, don't be quiet in the room. Communicate with her. Let her tell you where she feels the most. And touch those places for her. There are so many places that you can touch for her. You can touch her nipples, her clit, her breasts, her ears, her neck, the inner thigh. There are so many places. Let her tell you. Then you explore all these places for her. And you will see whether if she will not be wet down there so that you can penetrate smoothly without suffering so that you both can enjoy sex in your marriage another mistake men make is only thinking about yourself you are only thinking about yourself how you are going to satisfy yourself how you'll be able to release the thing that is worrying you that's all that you need you're not thinking about your wife or your partner that is very bad that's why a lot of women these days, if you tell them, they are pushing you away. Because they know that if you tell them after getting wet, you will not satisfy them. The feeling will still be in their body. You are only thinking about how you will come. You are not thinking about her feelings. You are not thinking about exploring different stars. Maybe if this one is not working for her, another one can work for her. That's why you need the communication here. It's a mistake a lot of women don't want. They also want to get satisfied after stimulating their body. Just tell me this. If you feel stimulating your partner's body, the down there is wet and you penetrate. All of a sudden, you are done. She's so satisfied. Tell me, why will she be happy the next time you are touching her in bed? Because she knows that you are going to destroy her feelings again. She will not get satisfied. And another mistake you will do is introducing sex to her. To her. My brother, you cannot handle it. Because once you are not able to satisfy her and she uses that sex to her, my brother, though ignore your cucumber. 
Your cucumber is not going to be important to them anymore. That's another mistake you do by not satisfying her and you think that she should use vibrator to satisfy herself. If she become addicted to it, my brother, you can never handle it. Do you use your cucumber to replace with the vibrator or the sex toy and you will be feeling less of yourself. And in that marriage, when you touch your wife, your wife will never mind you anymore because she knows that when you touch her finish, you will not make her reach her orgasm or you will not make her satisfied very well. So it's either she's going to use her vibrator than waiting for your cucumber. So don't do these mistakes. Try to satisfy your woman in bed. Try to have her time. Don't think about only your feelings. Don't be selfish over here. When you as a man, after coming, when you are released, it is very difficult for you to pick up at once. Once she hasn't reached her orgasm or she's not yet satisfied, you can't continue doing it because everything is down. The thing has fall. What are you going to do again? You can't continue doing it. And her feelings is still in her body. She's still ready for it. So she's not going to be happy with you the next time you are touching her. Another mistake is not taking your personal hygiene serious. Women don't like this. If you know you are going to make love to your wife or your partner are done, make sure you brush your teeth before going to bed. So that at dawn, you can have a good breath. You can smell good. You can Your breath can smell good. So that you don't have any mouth odor. Imagine yourself kissing this woman and she's squeezing her face or closing her eye or holding her nose or holding her breath. Is she in prison? No. She's not going to be happy with you. Or maybe you want her to put your cucumber in her mouth when she sent her nose there. The place is not having a good scent. That is very bad. You need to clean every part very nicely. Your armpits, places that you think you sweat most, you need to take care of those places. So that at that moment in that bed, everything can go smoothly between you and your partner. Women hate it when you are touching them and all of a sudden they have foul odor or maybe some smell coming from somewhere. It puts you off. As a man, you if you can testify, it will put you off. If it is the opposite way, if it is your woman that you are sending your head there to give her head, the end of a sudden some scent are coming there, I don't think you'll do it again. But because this person is married to you, that's why he's still with you. Some girlfriends, they are gone. So please stop this mistake and concentrate on each other. Have each other's interests at heart. Try to satisfy each other on bed. So you can have a beautiful and lovely love making in your marriage. Especially married couples, some of them, when they were dating, they do all this thing. But immediately they are finished marrying, they let go of everything. They don't care anymore. As soon as the men, they don't concentrate on their wives anymore. Or the women too, they don't give their husband those stars they were giving them from the beginning. Because they think that they have gotten what they want from giving the star already. So they don't want to do it again. That will send your husband out. And the men too, sometimes the woman finished giving birth. It wouldn't be the same anymore. So you need to take your time for her so that you can have a lovely and a beautiful love making in your marriage. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you have learned something from this video. And please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. If you have something in your mind, you can leave it in the comment section. Till I see you in my next video. Please stay blessed. Bye.